And now, your Storm Team 18 forecast. Weather from where you live. There's that rain. You can see it is really solid and steady along and south of about, eh, it's getting about to US 24 now, except up here towards Kentland and Remington. Not as much rain up here this evening. It's been much more spotty and light, and it's been relatively light for the rest of the area, but over the past couple of hours, the heavier rain has been sliding northward from the south. So now it's pretty solid, moderate uh, rain all down here where you see those dark greens and the yellows and some of the oranges here down near Waveland moving northward and some of this heavier rain showing up well from Pine Village, Lafayette, up around Buck Creek, over to uh, Frankfort and over towards Middle Fork and also the Forest and Michigan Town areas. And it's lighter up around Winnemac and Rochester, Remington and uh, around Brook. But more heavy rain down here in southern Indiana will pivot northward and kind of ride the front that's stalled over the area. And then the low pressure moves northward dropping the pressure tomorrow. So if you've had aches and pains caused by low pressure, kind of a tough day tomorrow and a tough night tomorrow night. And a lot of wind tomorrow too. Those gusts 35 to 45 later on in the day from the northwest. And after a high of 57, our numbers actually start to fall a little bit uh, towards the afternoon and evening. So 49 to 61 for highs, but these numbers will start to slide towards about 46 to 53 by five in the evening. Then Friday rainy in the morning, but then pretty rapid clearing trend later on in the day, but a lot of wind. Look at these sustained northwest winds, 20 to 30 miles an hour. And much of the day is pretty cool. It's only 49 at noon, but we get that late day rally with the sun to a high of 58 here in Greater Lafayette, 59 Fowler, 60 Attica, 61 Petersburg, and 53 at Peru as the clouds will take longer to clear out of our eastern counties. There's your rain at 1.30, your rain at 5.30 in the morning. There's 8 o'clock in the morning and there's 11.30. You get the idea. It's just a driving rain right through morning. Then um, late afternoon, especially evening, the rain kind of shuts off for a moment. But another round comes in tomorrow night, pivoting in with that wind from the northwest. So here we are tomorrow night and right into early Friday morning rain. There's the back edge of the rain mid to late morning Friday and then a pretty rapid clearing trend after that, followed by a beautiful Saturday. The only issue Saturday is the fact that we're going to get all this rain and they're setting all the tents up for um, uh, Spring Fest at Purdue and it's just going to be really muddy and there's going to be standing water. And if you've got any baseball practice or baseball or soccer game Saturday morning, a lot of them will be canceled just because the fields are so muddy and it's just so incredibly wet to be playing any sort of sport on any field with one and a half to about three inches of rain area wide. A little clipper type system kind of rides in on Sunday on the leading edge of some big heat in the plains. This may pop a couple or a few scattered storms. I've noticed here over the past few hours there's a cap that's becoming evident on Sunday. So if that cap remains as strong as what I'm seeing tonight, we're not going to get so much on Sunday. If it's a little weaker, why well, we'll have a few scattered storms and there's enough shear and instability for an isolated severe storm. This storm moves almost due north, so we'll get some scattered storms that will deal with some of the capping issues on Tuesday, Wednesday, perhaps some severe weather risk, but overall the bigger risk is off to the west in the plains. But 10 day outlook shows the 77 on Sunday, 70 Saturday, but 81 Monday and Tuesday, some scattered storms Tuesday, Wednesday. You know, if these storms can go, this is kind of like a marginal risk scenario. This is kind of a slight risk scenario as long as we keep the capping to a minimum. And then another round of storms Thursday and Friday with highs back into the 80s. And even that could have some severe weather risk as well.